One, two, three! Damn. Defender slides out on him, and he centers it out to the top of the box with Brian Carroll. Flips a left-handed pass, and a shot and a goal by Steve Giannone. Gladding at X, no defender over the goal line, so Gladding will just stand behind the goal. Feeds on top, shot and a goal by the Cavaliers. Stanwick on the one-timer. When that first goal goes in, you know, all your worries kind of go away a little bit, so it was very nice. Giannone sets his feet, goes across the field to Shamel Bratton. Cranks fires and scores by Shamel Bratton. Plays attack for most of his career, but on the midfield unit today as Gladding picks up the screen from Gill, turns up the right pipe and bounces it on the bottom right corner. Spins towards goal, across the field finds Carroll, feeds the left pipe, shot, goal, steal, Stanwick. Found him on the left pipe and the freshman has scored twice at Homewood in the first quarter. Ring it up the field with 10 seconds. Shamel dodging in left of the box, throws it across the field to Stanwick, cranks and scores upper right corner. Unbelievable, the freshman has a hat trick. Just a really, really exciting, terrific lacrosse game. Uh, you know, had all the sort of ebb and flow, everything you could hope for in a, in a, in a, in a college game. Here's Steel Stanwick, who already has a hat trick today behind the goal, lobs to Garrett Billings. Billings curling, fires and scores, falling down as he rolled it past the feet of Michael Gavazdin. Here's Hughley down the right pipe. Hughley feeds on top. Billings, oh, he faked out Gavazdin and then slotted it in past him. Gladding fighting through checks, finds himself free on the left wing. Feeds on top. Billings rolls a pass underneath Gavazdin. Danny Gladding made it. Garrett Billings finished it, and the Cavaliers have doubled up Hopkins 12 to 6. Try to do the same and get the poles to the shorts. Coming up the left pipe, a shot and a yeah, it creep in. It's a goal. Oh, yes. Wow. Could have tightened up on defense and done some things uh, that, uh, you know, we could have given Adam a little bit more help in the cage, but uh, we fought the whole time. Haldy dodging, Haldy to the right side, Haldy gets free, belt shot, bullseye. John Haldy on the right wing gives Virginia a two goal lead. And will throw behind the goal to Garrett Billings, picks up the screen from Gladding. Billings feeds, oh, and they left Steve Giannone all open. Carroll dodging and spinning, Carroll feeds behind the goal. Feet out front, Shamel cranks, lets one rip, fires and scores! That's Shamel Bratton, bottom right corner, they needed that one, tie game. Behind on Garrett Billings, Billings up the left pipe. Billings flips a pass back to Gladding. Gladding lets one fly, got it! Danny Gladding, great Danny job. Gladding rips from 10 yards away. Goal Virginia, they got the lead back. 107 to go in the fourth quarter. Blue Jays need a goal, they feed on top. Big collision, ball loose, top of the crease. Clausen has it. Clausen throws it back to Adam Gittleman in his crease. Gittleman dumps it off to Mike Timms, couldn't handle it on the far sideline. Ball loose on the left alley. Kicked by Timms, goes out of bounds, picked up by Hopkins. Here they come towards goal. Christopher fires, sends it wide right. Backed up by Virginia. Timms trying to pick it up. Tim's kicks it behind the goal with eight, throws it to Adam, get him to take it by Hopkins, behind the goal with five, with four, they feed up front deflected, ball is loose with one, game over, over. over. Cavs stay perfect. Every one of these things is a little test and a different kind of experience for us, I mean, uh, playing a game like this at Homewood, uh, you know, uh, jumping on these guys early, falling behind the way we did, uh, you know, struggling on defense most of the night and having to fight our way to, to get this W. Uh, I think there was a lot to learn there, a lot, a, a lot to take away that I think will serve us well as, as we move forward.